Hey guys, before the video begins, let's give a big shout out to all of our new YouTube members. Ciao Chris, Mikhail Devera, Ian McHugh, Archer BLT, Vileware79, Miarna, Brian Blackner, Bart, Sebastian, Basil Mathai, Constanza Molina, Howell Hades, N Sus, Scarlet Ryukin, Actinian, Philip R, Thomas Thompson, Tandon, Ice Master, Russ Paul Adrian, Twitched12, Alice G, Jose Vega, Sylvia, ABC, Smeargle Tail, A Trainer Red, Manuel Jaramillo. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Tectonic Nuzlocke. So last time, we went through tournament grounds, and we managed to beat it. Uh, after five battles, we only lost one along the way, and it was a good one. I kind of wish it was somebody else, because that was a good versatile fighter and a good sweeper. But now is not the time to celebrate, because we have to beat Yezra next. And I'm assuming that's where these guys are going to take us. Oh, I like that song! That's my intro song. Yep, hollowed lair. Yep, that's the only door we haven't gone into. Oh, I have to go there myself. Oh, okay. Well, I think there's a totem right outside where I have to go, isn't there? Oh, hollowed lair. There it is. Yep. And right here is the door. This one door. And it's... well, it was open for a sec. Once you enter, events will unfold in a way that cannot be undone. Oh, no. Oh, God. Do I have to take this team in there, too? I mean... This is about the best the team can be. Oh, no. Okay, I can leave. Alright. What's this place called? Illuminate Helix. Alright. Well, let's... Oh... It's these guys again, aren't they? I'm gonna have to fight them. And the blue guy. Okay, what did this guy lead off with? I don't remember. Okay, so... Last time we fought this guy, it was a double battle. And his team was... Gothitelle Regirock, which he's not gonna have the Regirock anymore. And then came Glossopod and Corviknight, and then finally he had Gliscor and Shedinja. Oh, this was the Shedinja guy. Okay. Well, I do have my... He led with Gothitelle last time, so I'm assuming he'll do that again. So I can just one-shot that thing with uh, a uh, a U-turn real quick. Ah, the fuck is in my eye? Okay. Oh, crap. He's leading with this pairing. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Okay, I can go for an Infernal Impact on Corviknight. Is that going to kill, though? Let's see. I got 149 attack. This is 117 defense. I don't think that's going to kill. Okay, so if I Brave Bird, it should definitely kill the Corviknight then. Yeah, I think that's what I should do. Alright, Infernal Impact, good damage. And bye bye Corviknight. Liquidate, okay. What's that? Machian Saviper. What's my HP at? 74. Okay. So I take Recoil. 
And then I gain HP as long as I get above 80. Starlight will live the liquidate. And then I could use Elma's turn to swap in for who? Well, actually, no, I don't have to swap. I could just go for... I could try to nuke with six feet under, even though it's not going to do anything. Good damage. Oh, that's right! Tactical Retreat! I don't have to take the Liquidate now! Bye bye Surviper. I forgot. It does that. Okay, well, uh, Starlight's probably gonna have to swap out anyway. What was that? Gliscor. Okay. Um, let me see here. So, I'm gonna go for the U-turn. That should one-shot Gothitelle. Uh, hmm... Do I want to... I don't even think I can roost. Or do I... Do I even try roosting, or... Okay, hang on. Let's, uh, Gothitelle's... Yeah, 75 to uh, my 149. Okay, so that thing is super dead and then I can probably let's see uh, after this you have you still have the Galassapod maybe I should roost after that you have Galassapod and Shedinja I think I roosting is my best bet bye bye Okay, so you... Let's see. Um, I should outspeed no matter what you send in. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to send in the queen... Do I send in the queen or do I send in... If I send in the gun, I can annihilate this Gliscor next turn, actually. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to send in the gun. There we go. Tailwind. Okay. So now, okay, Galassipod is in. Um, does Galassipod outspeed Starlight? Starlight is 122. Galassipod is... Wow, now it does outspeed it. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna protect, and then we will Brave Bird Galassipod. Dive Bomb. Oh, it's a fly move. It knows close combat. Well, okay. And there's Shedinja. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Does Shedinja have... What is Shedinja's item? That's important. Okay, uh, hang on. Can I look up Dive Bomb real quick? I need to see how much base power that thing has. That is a lot of base power. Okay, I am probably going to have to swap the gun for the beast. Okay, and then I'm going to Brave Bird Shedinja. We will see if it has a Sash or a Berry. Because I don't think Shedinja's that fast, which means... Oh, wow, you went for Starlight. And you burned Starlight. Okay, well, Starlight won't take Recoil, though. And you had a Sash. Okay. That's okay. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna double iron bash the Gliscor. What the hell would this Shedinja use? Is it gonna go for a ghost move, or is it gonna go... Shedinja should not be that f Oh, wait, it is really fast. Oh, damn, it is faster than Starlight. Okay, Starlight has to swap, then. <laughs> the question is, now, is if I go for... Or I could... Ch uh, I think I actually do have to swap to Elma. Alright, let's just hope Elma lives enough and then has enough in the tank left. Tricky Toxins. 
X scissor. Oh, thank you. That's something I was worried about. Gliscor getting another turn. And Tailwind is gone. Okay. Bye bye. Fuck you, Shedinja. Only 700. Okay. Um, oh god. Uh. Oh. That motherfucker. Oh, it's a full restore. Oh. And the ice one! Okay. Let's see what he had. Okay, so last time we fought this guy, this guy was far easier than the, uh, than the Crimson guy. So this guy had Reg Ice. He had the Metacham, which I own. He had the Gun, which I own. He had Absolus, which I own. Uh, and then he had uh, the uh, the Millipede Evolution. And then he had a Florges. Okay. So uh, we'll lead with our. We'll lead with Elma. So I uh, wonder what he has to replace that now. Oh, shut up, buddy. Okay, he's sending in the Metacham this time first. Okay. So, if I go... Yeah, you're weak to six feet under. I don't know if that's going to one-shot, though. Because, uh... Yeah, this thing's pretty tanky. It's also got... This one has more defense than mine. So, yours is a tank version of mine, so... Uh, still though, I, uh, you can't, you have to hit me with a psychic move, so, might as well, okay, never mind, you're gonna swap into Florges. Well, that's okay, cause, uh, Florges isn't that fast, and I can just U-turn out of there. Boom. Okay, one down. Alright, who do I go into? Probably our queen. Oh, yeah. The gun. Okay, well, uh, you're probably gonna hit me with the spike cannon, so I'm gonna send in the beast. Oh, so yours doesn't have an item. Not sure why. Anyway, uh, brick break, bye bye Okay, shiver dance. Okay, uh, you should still die. Cause that's- oh, nope! Okay, well, uh, bye bye you, you dealt a little bit more damage, but you did not use Swords Dance. Shiver Dance only gives you, uh, it's a bulk up plus some speed. Okay, Sigil Lift. I have to swap for that. Into Elma. There's a Psychic Moves coming. Oh, nope, you're Calm Minding. Well, that's even better because... Oh, oh, okay. Um, wait, what does that mean? Well, either way, I outspeed you to hell, so, uh... It's attacks reduced, special targets. Why do you have a flame orb, then? Okay. Maybe he has a, an ability that or a move that makes us switch items. Okay. Next up is Millablaze. Okay, I'm going to swap to, uh, I have to swap to Starlight, actually, for this. Because I don't have the, the claw with me. Okay, knock off. Well, there goes my berry. Well, that's okay, because I can go for a Brave Bird. And you're swapping to Absolus. Well, good damage. Oh, God, Vengeance. Okay, um, we have to swap into probably 
Oh god, how do I deal with the Millablaze now? I'm gonna have to swap to the gun. Alright, uh, fire the spike cannon, I guess. And yep, you were gonna swap to that thing. Okay, well, it did take some damage. Okay, so what move is it gonna go for? You're going for Fire Lash. Okay, well, how much base power does that have? Seventy. Lowers defense by two steps. Okay, um... 87 speed, so Kiki will outspeed it. Okay, I think I'm gonna send an Elma here. Elma can tank and should be able to revenge kill with a, uh... Eighty-seven defense. This has to kill. Yeah. Okay, you're sending that in? Well, I can't use my move now, so I'm just gonna have to U-turn. Well, I got some damage down. Okay, who do I swap in? Do I send in my own, or...? You know, I think I'm going to have to send in my own. Ow. Okay, well that took away your speed and your defense. Uh, so I outspeed you now. So I'm going to go for extra sensory. There we go. Speed and defense fell again. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure a drain punch will now kill. Really? Okay, well. It's okay. I outspeed. And then all that's left is Absolus. So, uh. Let's see. Absolus is probably gonna go for. Well, actually, it doesn't matter what it goes for because, uh, the gun can tank it. Air Slash. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Man, your team is way weaker than. Actually, no, it's not weaker. I just counter way more of it. Uh, congratulations, you knocked off my berry. I knocked you out of the game. That is true. It's like, why does, does the fate of the universe... How do I get that? Oh, here we go. Does the fate of the universe really depend on how well I'm able to send out this Pokemon instead of that one? <laughs> Alright. So what's this thing? Nothing? I got nothing. Okay, well, this is a double battle and it's not a very fun one. Given how much I did not like the last couple ones. Alright, let me take a look at his team last time. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure I fought this guy twice. As long as we take out this Exploud the first turn, we should be fine. Okay, if I drag... Oh, that's right. Okay, you know what? That's fine, actually. Chip damage on both is fine, because the submission should be enough to kill. So that'll reduce my recoil damage, at least. I'm assuming this uh, Seismitoad's gonna go for a Sludge Wave. Yep. Which is fine. What's that? Ah, oh, okay, you. That's fine. I'm just gonna U-turn and... I'm assuming another sludge wave is coming, so you know what? I think I'll send in the gun. 
And then we'll U-turn into the beast. Good damage. And then the sludge wave is now useless. Oh, never mind. It does damage. It damages his stare down. What the hell was that? Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm going to... I'm going to spear you and get rid of you because... Although, to be fair, I'm not sure what you could do to me anymore. Alright, good. Good damage. Okay. Hmm. Maestro. What does Maestro do again? Double speed of sound-based moves. Ah, okay. Alright, um, let me see. I'm locked in the double iron bash. Who do I want to use it on? Yeah, you know what? We'll get rid of you. Um, I'm assuming an, a ground move is coming my way, so I'm going to send in Starlight. Yep, Earthquaking. And we take that like a champ. Okay. So now these are your last two Mons. Okay, you're fascinating. That's okay, though. Uh, I'm gonna double iron bash. Most. Okay, yeah, double iron bash. I'm assuming. I know I'll one shot the mammoth swine if I do that. I guess we swap to Kiki. Bug Buzz. I thought you would go for a heat wave. Ah, crap, that berry's gonna save your ass. Okay, um... Well, that won't really matter what I use now, because, uh... Oh, wait. Actually... 102. 113. Kiki should be faster. 122. Okay, Kiki f strikes first. So, you know what? I'm gonna drain punch just to get some HP back in case this thing goes for chatter. Oh, you're protecting. Okay, well, I'll take all my HP back, and you're going for the Earthquake. I have to swap, uh, but you should not be able to outspeed me, though. 113 versus 122. Yep, okay, so I'll go for the extra sensory, and it's a win. Thing is, all right, let's uh, keep going. We have a little bit of time left. Uplifted Abysm. Also, I should probably. Oh! Origin Ore. Is there something on the other side? No. Oh, we're at this part. Okay, I. May have been spoiled about this part, because this is like the one episode of Voltsy's playthrough that I watched. So I knew about this, uh, this little Reggie Gigas avatar. Alright, well, we can take this on. What is in here, though? There's a freaking house. A stick of dynamite. Why is there a stick of dynamite? So, stack of papers, and what is behind here? Prismatic plate. 
Talent boosts same type attacks by 20%. Okay. If held by Arceus, you can change types between battles. Hmm. So it gives... It's like mini adaptability, then. Not sure how good that is if you, uh... Well, actually, that might be good on Metacham. Eh, whatever. Alright, hang on. If I have to fight the Regigigas... We're gonna assemble our team one last time. Alright. Team AEIOU has assembled once more. What's it called? Path of Genesis. It is the right moment. Okay. All right, bring it on. Five bars. Has attack and speed. Wait, is that a... Uh... Okay, well, it's pretty slow still, so I'm going to ignite you real quick. I'm going to set up the Paris song, and we are going to uh, set up a Reflect, because you're primarily a physical attacker, yes? Yeah, you're a physical attacker, so... Uh, or do I want to... Actually, if I loom over, that's going to... Yeah, that'll just cut your attack already, so you know what? I'll just do that. Oh no, your defense. Body slam. And thunder punch, okay. Okay, swap to that. Swap to, uh... Yeah, we'll swap to... Oh no, wait, no. We're going to swap to uh, the Eevee here, we're going to swap to uh, the Lapras here, and then we'll swap to the Emperor here. I did a lot more damage than I wanted it to, but that's okay. Because I'm going to charm you. I'm going to uh, loom over you. I'm going to make a substitute. Hey, look at that. I have an opportunity to use Heal Bell. And I'm going to Life Do. And we're just going to... There we go. No more paralysis. Alright. We're gonna send in the world. 
and we will just throw a rock. Six. Well, now it goes down to five. Although I am going to break this bar. I am going to set up the Eclipse. And I'll just rest to full health. That's right, substitute. <laughs> Leech seed, okay. Well, that's fine, because I could just heal bell that. Transformed into a grass type. We go, we cut all your stats down. Alright, I'm gonna heal Bell and we are going to rock throw. Stop the two. <laughs> Bye-bye! Please help me. I'm not gonna use it because it's fucking Reggie Gigas and it's useless. <laughs> Alright. Well, I gotta put the team back together. And it's been a good enough time. So I'm going to end the episode here. Next time, we will finally confront Yezra. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Leave a like, turn on notifications, all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for all your support on all my other videos so far. And hope to see you guys again next time.